There's a high chance your e-commerce category pages are the most profitable pages on your entire website. And I found this to be the case after working on both small e-commerce businesses and large e-commerce businesses. There are so many things you can optimize on your category page, but I'll be going over only the most important optimizations you can make that will have the biggest impact on your rankings as well as your bottom line, saving you both time and money. This video will reveal SEO best practices as well as striking a balance between best user experience practices. Focus on a user-friendly interface, a user-friendly navigation, as well as relevant content. First of all, you need to do keyword research. You can't do any of the other optimizations without having this one down. Without keyword research, you're basically shooting in the dark. Keyword research is simply finding search terms that are related to your business. And one very simple yet highly effective way to do keyword research that's free is using the Google autocomplete function. For example, let's say your store sells bikes. I wouldn't recommend targeting bikes because it's too broad and competitive. Instead, you want to go for something more specific. How about electric bikes? But maybe we can go even more specific than that. There are different types of electric bikes like cargo electric bikes. So what you do is type in cargo electric bikes into Google and if Google autocomplete shows it, then guess what? It means it's got search volume behind it. And if you click on the top results and see that the category pages, then it means it meets the right user intent requirements for a category page. You then want to take it a step further and do keyword research for the individual product pages that your category page sells. This way, your category page will rank for long tail variations of your main keyword. For example, let's say the bike you're selling is the turn GSD S double O LX. What you're going to do is list the features of the product. For example, let's say this electric cargo bike is blue in color. It's unisex. It has a 500 watt battery, etc. You're then going to Google these variations to see what the autocomplete shows. For example, we can see Google show blue electric bike as well as 500 watt electric bike. We could then assign the title to that product, 500 watt blue electric cargo bike. Boom. By doing this, we're able to target lots of long tail variations for a category page. And if you're looking for more product optimization tips, then I'd highly recommend you check out this video. Next, you're going to optimize the URL. Google uses your URL to see what your page is all about. And what you're going to do is simply include your main keyword in there. And sticking with our bike example, our URL would be something along the lines of electric cargo bikes. However, you shouldn't just change the URL of a published page because this can break things like cause broken internal URLs as well as lead to decreased rankings. So simply use this tip to optimize category pages that you haven't already published. Next, you're going to optimize the meta title and the H1 tag. After optimizing countless pages, the most important on-page SEO optimization tweak you can make besides hitting the user intent is having your keyword inside the meta title and having your keyword inside the H1 tag. Very simple, very straightforward, but you'd be surprised at how many people miss this. And by doing this, you'll gain a quick but long-term rankings boost. I'd recommend using the ECSEO extension to see what your meta titles and H1 tags look like. If your meta title is over 580 pixels or 60 characters long, it will cut off in the search results, having a negative impact on your search clicks. And make sure your H1 tag and meta title are the same to prevent Google from rewriting your meta titles. Next, you're going to create a brief description. Below your H1 tag, you're going to include a little description, something below 100 words. After all, the users on your category page to have a look at your products and not to read a blog post. The little description is there to tell the user what the page is about and tell them they've arrived on the right page, as well as an opportunity to fit in some keywords. You're simply going to include your target keyword as well as LSI keywords, which are keywords related to your main keyword in your brief description. You can find these LSI keywords by using the Easy SEO Extensions Keyword Sniper tool. And the best thing about this tool is all the keyword recommendations it gives you all come from Google themselves. You're simply going to insert any of the relevant keywords into your brief description. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you're looking to grow your e-commerce business, then I highly recommend booking a one-on-one -on -one call with myself. 
I'll leave a link in the comments below. Next, you're going to optimize the products on your page. First of all, you're going to do keyword research for each of the products on your category page, as mentioned earlier on in this video. You're then going to see what the top results are doing when it comes to how many products they're displaying on their root page as well as seeing how many variations or types of products they're including on the category page. Just Google your keyword and see what the top category pages are doing. You're simply going to see how many products they have and just include a few more of yours. And if you don't have enough products or enough types of products to display, well, you're just going to have to skip this step. Next, you're going to make sure users can filter by things like price, colors, type of product, etc. Now you're going to include a longer description. The longer description will sit below your products and pagination. The purpose of the longer description is to help the user understand your products better as well as provide an opportunity to fit in some more keywords. I'd recommend adding a frequently asked section into the longer description. What common questions are your support team constantly getting? You can also use ChatGPT to find these questions. For example, you can type into ChatGPT, my e-commerce site sells electric cargo bikes. What questions, objections, and concerns will potential customers have? You can then use any of the relevant results you found in ChatGPT and include them on your page. Remember, you're trying to be as helpful as you possibly can when it comes to this. Now it's time for the internal linking part. What you're going to do is use a silo structure. So you're going to link from your subcategories all the way up to your parent category. And then your parent category will link to at least one of those subcategory pages. For example, let's say your parent category is non-alcoholic wines and your child categories are non-alcoholic rosé wine, non-alcoholic white wine and non-alcoholic red wine. Non-alcoholic rosé, white and red wine will all link up to the non-alcoholic wines page. And then the non-alcoholic wines page will link to at least one of those child category pages. These internal links will increase the rankings of your category pages, as well as improve the backlinks your website is currently getting. Next up, you want to prevent keyword cannibalization problems. Keyword cannibalization is simply where multiple pages compete for the same keyword, and as a result, neither of those pages is in position one. To make sure you're not cannibalizing, go into your Google Search Console account, type in your target keyword, and then see what pages are getting clicks for that keyword. If these pages aren't optimized for your target keyword, then the page you're currently optimizing won't have cannibalization issues. Now, you're going to optimize the technical aspects of your category page. First of all, you want to make sure you have the correct type of pagination. Pagination is the part of the page which allows you to go from page one to page two, from page two to page three, etc. Now, some category pages don't use these numbers correctly, if at all. Some category pages have a load more button, which is a big no-no. Your pagination, no matter which part of the sequence it's at, should have a link back to the root page and having a link all the way to the furthest page. Your pagination, no matter which part of the sequence it's at, should always have a link back to the root page, as well as always have a link to the last page. This helps alleviate crawl depth problems. So for example, let's say you have 100 paginated pages and you're on page 25. Well, paginated page 25 should have a page all the way back to page one, as well as a link all the way to page 100. So you got a link to page one, as well as a link to the last page. Next, you're going to make sure all your category pages, as well as the paginated pages, have a self-referencing canonical tag. A canonical tag tells Google that the current page they're on is the primary version of that page. There's no other version out there, and therefore they should rank this current page. Now, some SEOs don't like having a self-referencing canonical tag on their paginated pages because they believe it causes 
keyword cannibalization problems as well as duplicate pages problems. However, Google has already mentioned it doesn't cause these problems. You want to give these paginated pages a chance to rank because there are many instances where the paginated page will outrank the root page. I would recommend using the Easy SEO extension to see if you've got a self-referencing canonical tag. And as mentioned earlier, I'd highly recommend you booking a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you're interested in growing your e-commerce business. I'll pin a link in the comments below. This is a one hour call with me where I break down a growth strategy for your e-commerce business. And if you're not ready to take that step yet, then I recommend checking out the Billion Dollar SEO Audit. It's a guide that I put together that helps you audit a website. I've used this on lots of different e-commerce businesses, which has helped them grow.